futures begin and dreams are achieved. Sullivan County Buses, it's your destiny. Everyone needs the right education, no matter what your age is. The future is waiting. When life provides you opportunities, be the best you can be. Where futures begin and dreams are achieved. Sullivan County Buses, it's your destiny. The pre-tech program at Sullivan County BOCES is now in its third year. The innovation of the program is a student-run business at the center infused with 21st century skills so that at-risk 9th and 10th graders get a half-a-day career in tech program that has applied academics, project-based learning, and differentiated instruction. The typical student in the pre-tech program is not part of a team or a club or an extracurricular activity. These are 9th and 10th graders that are considered to be at risk for dropping out. They're behind in credits, they're not at grade level, and they're disenfranchised. My name is Gerald Lum and I've been in pre-tech for two years now. My home school is Liberty High School. I uh, originally went and started hearing about pre-tech in 8th grade and they brought it up to me about doing two years here and then going to my full Votech class. And be, towards the end of ninth grade, I wanted to drop out, and pretext the only thing that's really kept me here for you know coming to school. And that's basically my only, only reason I'm still here. And I like the fact that you can go and do different modulars in uh, pretext, such as like culinary, auto mechanics, and all that. And it's pretty much, it's helped me a lot. The teachers here are very nice, and it's basically kept me up. My plans for the future is to go to uh, full auto tech and uh, do the next two years of them because that's what I've liked most out of pre-tech was the auto tech parts, and um, that's basically it. You know, if it wasn't for pre-tech, I'd probably would be home right now. In the first year of pre-tech. Students are earning three credits, doing career exploration, finding out what they're good at, and becoming part of a team and working with a team. They're becoming part of something bigger than themselves. My name is Anthony Collarick. I go to Liberty High School. I really didn't like school. I almost dropped out, but my guidance counselors got me in pre-tech, which put me on track. And yeah, I mean, I come here, I get to do what I like working on wood, you know, doing construction, culinary, cooking, pretty much whatever, you know, what life's really about. <laughs> and then next year I'm going to be in auto tech, what I really like to do, working on cars, and I'm not going to drop out. I'm staying in school, thanks to pre-tech. In the first year of pre-tech, students earn elective credits. Each of these courses is a half a credit. Career Cluster, Applied Technology, Food and Nutrition, Art, Introduction to Business, and Real World Math. In the second year of Pre-Tech, the courses change slightly. So students earn a half a credit in Career Cluster 2, Applied Technology 2, Business Applications, Home and Careers, Art 2, and Real World Math 2. My name is Paul Mayapolsky. I'm the instructor uh, in the pre-tech program here at Sullivan County Career and Tech. Student-run business is such a vital piece of what we do in pre-tech. Uh, it not only adds to the academic component of the program, um, but also to the sense of community that we create here. Um, you know, that being said, we all have strengths that we bring to the table. And in running a business, there's so many different skills that are necessary, uh, whether it be physically working on the products that the students uh, develop, from internet research uh, to finding plans that are workable here within the classroom, to figuring out material costs, um, to finishing products, sanding, painting, those quality control areas, and then into customer service and sales. 
there are just so many components that are necessary to run a successful business um, that we all have different areas uh, that we can excel in. Um, that being said, we need each other here. So we create that community within the classroom um, and that mutual respect for one another. You know, we start the day by discussing where we're at in terms of orders and sales and products and what needs to be done. We make those decisions together and at the end of the day uh, we assess our progress. Some days better than others just like in the real world. The student account is also a really nice piece of the student run program here in pre-tech wherein that the students democratically vote for a student treasurer who needs to help manage um, the checkbook, the account. Uh, that student treasurer explains uh, to the rest of the class where we're making our deposits, where those funds came from, when we need to make withdrawals, how that's happening, how much money we spent and why we spent the money. Um, and we need to collectively agree on that. Um, that's a really important important piece for these students to understand that all the products we sell really a small percentage of that is profit most of it is going back into raw materials um, to proceed with more products uh, the profit that we do make which is marginal but the profit that we do make uh, goes into our account and at the end of the year the students democratically decide what they'd like to spend the funds on. There's also a, a big connection when it comes to the student run program in terms of outside community. Community outside of the classroom. Well, we have the on-campus support and the outside, community outside these walls, but also uh, that parent communication, family communication, and then the community in general, the outside community in our towns. Uh, many of these students uh, you know, we have to fill sales contact quotas, so they go outside of this school and outside their families and go into town and ask merchants and businesses and police officers and school bus drivers if they would be interested in our products and what it is we do. So there's definitely a tie-in to the outside community also, um, which again is just a great aspect of the student-run business here in Pre-Tech. Another nice addition to the Pre-Tech program this year is the Bike Project. The class has made a connection with a local metal recycling business to reclaim old bicycles. So they're fabricating bicycle parts and they're getting a, an introduction to precision machining and computer assisted design. And through this element they are refurbishing and repainting bicycles and then donating them to needy children. They'll also be donating them to the Bike to Work program, which is an initiative of the Local Workforce Development Board. Hi, I'm Gary Dott, and I went to Liberty High School. I am currently in my first year of Natural Resources. I went to Pre-Tech two years ago. That was my first year, and it was a very, um, it was a very beneficial program for me because I learned all the different um, types of jobs that are out in the world and I learned how to do some of them like heavy machinery which I'm in now or auto tech which I learned a little bit. Um, how I got started in it was my counselor at my middle school she said it was a very hands-on program and I like that so I want to go to it. Pre-tech was a very good learning experience for me and it helped me get into my natural resources career in tech and it's going to help me in future years because I know this is what I want to do later in the years and it also helped me in my school attendance and it made me want to work more at school so I stayed up with my grades so it was also good for that. Begin and dreams are